What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? This is for Capricorn, some rising the beating signs. My name is the reader to me, and I was here for those of y'all that are new. And welcome to the Meet All channel. I appreciate y'all and thank y'all so much for being here. Now, always remember these readings are donation based. So, if you haven't really been seeing content for Capricorn, that's because we haven't really been having any Capricorn sitting. So, be that big Capricorn stepper and send in for Capricorn so we can continue to post for Capricorn, y'all. I appreciate y'all and thank y'all so much. And always remember, y'all, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and also comment. It does make a big difference. Let's see what's coming in. So, we got the Eight of Wands, some Sag, and we got the Eight of Pentacles, so a little bit of Virgo in reverse. So, there's a Sag or a Virgo today. Um, Capricorn's match is going to be Sagittarius. So, some of you could be dealing with Sagittarius. Somebody could be dealing with a Virgo, but somebody's struggling financially or somebody made some type of investment financially and it's not really helping the relationship. If anything, is taken away. We got the Eight of Cups. So, that could be some Cancer energy or Pisces. And then we got Temperance, more Sag energy. So, we got a lot of Sag energy showing up. So, with Temperance showing up facing forward, it seems like you have an understanding with this person. So, that could be any of these signs. You could have one of these signs in your charts as well. And then we also got the Three of Swords. So, we got some Libra energy showing up here, which is indicating heartbreak. So, some of y'all are dealing with one of these signs. And, yeah, there's some heartbreak going on here. Um... Some of y'all feel used as well from what I'm getting. And we also got the Nine of Wands, more Sag, and we got the Sun. We got some Leo energy showing up here. It looks like something's coming to light. So if you're dealing with a Sagittarius or you're dealing with a Leo, there is something coming to light when it comes to this connection. We got the Four of Pentacles. The universe is telling you to protect your money. This is all about saving, budgeting, and, you know, maybe even investing into something as far as saving, whether it's a trust fund, a CD, a retirement account, a uh, IRA, whatever this is to protect your finances or maybe they're adding an extra layer of security on top of your bank accounts, whatever you got to do because somebody's coming after your money so just keep that in mind, this could even be a legal situation for some of y'all it is a little bit of Taurus energy somebody could be dealing with a Taurus as well take it with energy resonates and leave what doesn't and then we also have the Knight of Cups so this is a water sign masculine water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio coming in pretty strong, we got the Ace of Cups He's, he has his heart on his sleeve now you could be this, you know, masculine energy as well, but I'm getting this is what's coming your way ready for love, this Ace of Cups energy could be you, it's feminine energy, but I'm getting that this is this Knight of Cups, so he could be taking you on dates, he could be sending you money, spoiling you, but we got the fool in reverse, so it's something that you're not seeing this feels unfamiliar but you're actually very, very familiar to this, this is a very familiar spirit you just haven't figured that out yet for a lot of my Capricorns and we also have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So some of you have a history with a very aggressive air sign, masculine, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. He could be harassing you, stalking you. And we have the devil, which is showing up in your own energy right now. This is you. So maybe y'all are going at it really bad and you're saying some, you know, some spiteful things. They're saying some spiteful things. Y'all both spitting things out at each other left and right. And we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's broke. Somebody with the Four of Pentacles showing up in reverse. The Three of Pentacles, I mean, facing forward. And the Three of Pentacles showing up in reverse. Somebody is struggling financially. And it's showing here. Don't know if this is you, them, because this is general, of course. So, take what energy resonates and leave what doesn't for somebody else. See what else is coming in for Capricorn. I appreciate y'all. And do not forget, y'all, if you are wanting to support Capricorn and you're on YouTube, then send a super like as your way to support Capricorn. And if you are on TikTok, then send to the CA. It is pinned. And for those of you that are interested in personal services, for those of you that are on TikTok, the link is in my bio. For those of you that are on YouTube, it is on the community board and it's also in the description below. All right, y'all. So... We got the King of Cups. So we got a masculine water sign here. And we got some Leo energy showing up. So some of you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or a Leo masculine. This is what's coming your way right now. If you're single, we got the Four of Cups. So yeah, a lot of you are single, kind of lonely, reflecting on memories. You know, just trying to figure out, you know, where did things go wrong for you at? So they're letting you know that that's pretty much what's coming your way right now for my Capricorns. So we got silent. Be quiet and alone. Believe in the light within. This is for those of you that are lonely. And we got deception. So something might be appearing one way. But in reality, for a lot of my Capricorns, it's going to happen a whole other. And we got running. So we got sprint 
towards the target. So they're telling you, you know what, instead of focusing on, you know, the past or, you know, feeling lonely or feeling sorry for yourself, they're telling you to go after your goals. They're telling you to focus on your goals. They're telling you to, you know, focus on your priorities and pretty much where you want to be. And we got cooperate. So we got good partner, important cooperation, and observation. So we got observe and wait for the opportunity. So they're telling you to pay, pay very close attention to a situation that is happening in front of you. And they're basically letting you know that, yes, this could be happening very soon for you. And we got key points. So... They're going to be sending you a lot of signs and a lot of signals that you have everything it takes to solve this problem. But you got to trust the process. You got to trust the process. I appreciate y'all. And do not forget y'all, we in Libra season. Happy birthday to all my Libras and mark y'all calendars. My birthday is coming up, y'all. October the 14th. For those of you that are dealing with a Libra, treat them good. Treat them good. Especially if a Libra man, treat them good for his birthday this season. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. So... We got danger. We got there's a danger approaching. And then we also have dancing. So we got dash for the objective. So they're telling you even in your darkest time, even in your darkest energy, even when it seems like it's just hard and nothing is going to work, embrace life. Embrace life. Regardless. So we got somebody could be 32. The time will bring a surprise, a surprise, excuse me, in 12 months from now. So, next October, it's October the 5th. So, next October, you'll be in a completely different situation. That's a long-term goal for you being fulfilled. Now, what's going on right now? Somebody got a 10-year-old and somebody got a 9-year-old. So, we have not in this lifetime. Have faith. Divine timing is at place. So, there's something that you did want from somebody. You're not going to get it from them. But guess what? That's the universe telling you to stop going after this. There's something better. Three months from now, you're going to see... Things that from a completely different standpoint about the situation than where you're seeing it right now. Somebody could be 27. So whether this is getting through a heartbreak or deciding that you want to walk away from someone within the next couple days, somebody could be 31. If you are deciding that you want to walk away from a connection, you're going to be making that decision very, 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 very soon. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Um, Next spring, somebody got a 11-year-old. You're going to be getting a confirmation about something that was supposed to be happening around like March, May next year. Very soon. So just keep that in mind for a lot of my Capricorns. What is the final message for Capricorn? I appreciate y'all and thank y'all so much for being here, everybody. Just make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, y'all. So we got don't stop and remain positive. So this is for those of you that are getting discouraged about your situation, whether you just lost your car, whether you just lost your house, whether you just lost your apartment or your job, whatever you lost, remain positive at this time and listen to your intuition. You lost this for a reason. You lost this for a reason. Your intuition is trying to tell you something. Your spirit's trying to tell you something. There's something that you're not seeing. There's something that you're needing to pay attention to very closely that is literally happening right in front of you. We got helpful people. There's somebody literally around you that is trying to help you. But because you're a cardinal sign and you're an earth sign, you don't want help. You're like, I got this. I don't need your help, girl. Or I'm good, bro. I don't need your help. I got this. I'm a grown man. I'm a grown woman. But everybody grown need help at some point. You're ready. You're ready for your moments. You're ready for your breakthrough, but you got to stop being your own block until you can do that. Then I don't see anything changing. First, you got to forgive yourself. You got to forgive yourself for what didn't work. You got to forgive yourself for what you did 5, 10, 20 years ago. Or what you did to this person or what you did to that person. You are no longer beating yourself up for something that happened years ago or even a couple days ago. There's nothing that you can do. And then for some of you, this is letting go of that resentment that you're holding against someone. Some of you are in a relationship right now. And you're literally hating this person. You're laying beside them. You're looking at them with envy and disgust. And you're trying to figure out how did you even get to this point with them. Some of you are stepping outside of the connection. If this isn't you, this could be the person that you're dealing with feeling this way. And it's like... You, it's almost like you convinced yourself for some of you that this person deserves this. And then for some of you, this person convinced yourself that you deserve this. 
So forgiveness is going to be a big thing for a lot of my Capricorns right now, especially for those of y'all that are trying to recover a past connection. So whether this is an ex coming back in the picture or whether this is being in a current situation and trying to get to the point of breaking from breaking up. At the bottom of the deck, we got wait. Be patient, Capricorn. If you can't be patient, no pain, no gain. <laughs> Not to be cliche, but if you can't be patient, then what are you even sticking around for? Just go ahead and make your move. I appreciate you, Capricorn. Thank you.